Hey, what's up? This is Sane. I'm doing a tutorial part three of the FPS series. And we're going to um not we're not gonna do menus. Uh we're gonna do more uh, first person, and this is gonna be the final part. And that's about it. So any other tweaking you want to do, if you want to do camera boggling, like someone said in the first video, uh, I in part two I had gravity changing and the jump, the triple jump, and climbing up hills. So now we're gonna add uh, sound effects to our uh, to our changes here. Okay, so what we're going to add here is we're going to add uh, enough, um, we're going to add something that keeps the, the player down. So yeah. So we're going to say on full. So on full, something's going to happen. So it's to the same area except uh, object. The surface down here. And then also, uh, the thing applies to the, the angled surfaces. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to make some sort of uh, To make a sound event. Uh, we can select this. Uh, excuse me. Name. Very confused why we cannot select a sound event. Okay, I think there was some sort of bug or something.
we're going to select that. Trying to look for a certain sound source, but now I can't find it. It's really annoying, actually. I don't know.
I was looking at that sound for the whole time. So when we hit the ground, I think we're done with sound sources for now. But not really. So now we're going to uh, select the variable data source. What we're going to do here is we're going, every time we do a double jump, triple, double jump, double jump and triple jump, to increase the intensity of the sound. So the sound is going to be starting at Ten percent. Okay. We're going to go to HUD menu. We're going to select a new value. I'm going to say score, counter six, Charles Fusion didn't have so many. Okay, so now we're going to say, uh, that's going to be on every time we hit the floor. Uh, so, I'm going to reset back to 10 when we hit the floor we're going to have a st another state event i'm going to bring that to 10 And now we are going to say when we hit the either of the floors, it's going to set this back to 10. Okay, but only when we hit the floors. So both of these are going to be on hits. Okay, so now we could adjust our. Our other events. So we're going to have one here. So it's going to be 10, right? So on the double jump, so this is the first jump. On the double jump, it's going to be uh, what am I doing? One of the copy this. And then we're going to say and then we're going to say uh, 15 for double jump 
and 20 for triple jump. And you don't have to turn on all these jumps yet. You can turn these jumps off. So if you don't want to double jump, you could just say turn off this button. Right? So you don't even, you could just say unhighlight this. Right? If you wanted to turn it on, on command, then you would just say, uh, don't do this. And then it should work. We're going to go test them. Okay, so not exactly, but the buttons are, are on by default. Meaning that uh, this is string telling the button to turn on, right? Or if we turn it off, it still doesn't work because we hit the wrong uh, thing. So now it shouldn't work. So if we go here, then you just have one jump. And then you can have another trigger to turn on the double jump and the extra triple jump. So keep that in mind when you're doing events. But now we're just going to leave it on. That was just a little tip for you. So, so you could see. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue adding this. So this is 15 and this is 20 up here. Meaning that the jump will thing. And then we got to add one more thing. Remember the footsteps from last video I forgot to do in part two? Uh, I'm going, I'm probably going to put that in the description anyway of part two. I didn't have upload part two yet, but by the time it's out, uh, you should see it. Um, we're going to disable this. This is going to be on, on hit. So when we are on hit, the footsteps are going to be uh, off in the air. So on leave, it's off. And on hit, it's on. Something I forgot in part two, sorry. So now we just go to the events, because on the right it's on leave and on the left it's on hit so pretty much what we're gonna say on leave off on hit on and then we do this by going to our footsteps and turning that off okay now we turned off our footsteps in the air but when we're jumping, uh, we don't want them on because we're going to have separate sound sources for them. So each sound source, even from the beginning jump, is going to have its own uh, audio event. This is the first audio event. And then we're going to have the second audio event. And then the third audio event. I'm going to share the impulses. Adding in new impulses here. Remember, this is the jump. And this is the the new value when we hit the floor. You understand? So this could actually mess up the value right here. Um, 
which we're probably not going to do. So 10. I don't think we even need this one actually to tell you the truth. But what's going to reset it, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to put it here. Those are the sounds. A guy made a comment last video, first video, I think I said this already, where adding Bob and weaving to the camera, I don't really like that. So I'm going to leave it out, so, because I don't really like it. Personal preference, if you think about it. Um, but if you want to add that in, go right ahead. There's going to be uh, the, the double jump, and then the first jump is going to be the swish. Uh, we're probably going to make this. Test our volumes to see if it works. Okay. Okay, so the reason why the sound sources are going off haywire here is because something's going on. I'm pressing the button, so we got to disable that. So... When we press jump once, we're going to disable uh, um, the other button. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Gonna disable the other buttons because we don't need them. You see, we know it doesn't make any sense. Okay, so our gravity is a little bit different here, so we could set this gravity, custom gravity, to uh, 15,000. We can set this custom gravity to minus 20,000.
see. Now there's uh, more uh, button layouts. I mean, now we added sounds to our jumps and disable the sounds under there when we're walking. Okay, so we want to disable uh, uh, that for the other one because we don't need that. Uh, our footsteps need to be on the, uh, need to be on that, so this is the on hill again. I want to make sure about that, so that's on. I don't know why it's not registering, but um, uh, that's just how it is in trials. It's interesting how it's the same object, okay? But up here it registers the footsteps, but over here it doesn't register the footsteps. I'm not sure why, but um, yeah. This is an example. You can tweak it to make it more better in the future. Um, so we added sound sources for our FPS. Now we're just gonna add a shooting mechanic and uh, that's about it. And that's it for this tutorial series. Okay. Okay, so we're going to uh, create Can we just yeah, yeah we did it for the other one. So now we're going to create the uh, the part for the Oh my goodness, computer, please stop. Thanks. Computer was spazzing out. Okay, so now we're going to do the trigger mechanism. So we're going to go in the common. The stand is driving me insane.
So we're gonna grab an emitter. And then we're gonna grab an effect. A certain effect I want. Grab this one, the fireball. just the size based on the cone but this is an example so you want to hide this away from the world because you need it on we want to make this size zero Uh, we wanted to admit it to one, but the physical one, we wanted to admit it to, to a few, maybe five. The one though, we're going to set our, we're going to say no emit physics, but you can emit physics, doesn't matter. Third velocity. the the lowest emit this object That's almost like a machine gun. So this is going to be your visual effect. And then there's going to be a, a physical bullet that's invisible. That's going to trigger any surface. So if you want stuff to be... You want to put bullet holes in the wall. This is what's going to happen. Now this is where the editor starts getting complicated. Oh my goodness, I don't want to grab this. And then this is, we're going to go to primes. I grab this object here. We're going to emit this object.
that starts there. So we want this negative seven. I mean, seven hundred. Okay, so we know where it's going to start. <laughs> Hello. All right, sorry about that. Computer takes a shit sometime. So it's gonna come shoot out bullets from here. So I gotta auto center in. Run all your meters from here. You could set this up with an animation if you'd like, but I bet you it's gonna be very clunky. And in a real video game design engines that I use, I always use physical bullets. And they're just way more prepared. So if trials can't handle that. I don't know. I don't know. Can we select this? No, we can't. So I got an idea. Now, can we select this? Yes. So do your logic first before selecting in. So we're gonna use a trigger. We're gonna use LT. Shoot this gun. Oh, this one's going to be on press. This is going to be on release because the way of the trigger works. It's just going to be a lot easier to make it work for emitters, physical objects. It's probably easier to do this with some sort of physical engine or force. Uh, with physics applied but then it takes a lot more work so this is just an example but i use this from my metroid prime stuff so if you want to make a future future futuristic shooter then this is the way to go but if you want to make a realistic shooter then you got to do a lot more work and apparently i don't have enough time or talent to do this in less than an hour it's probably going to take me hours. And so we're going to do this. And so, uh, We're gonna fire the weapon with another state event. So on hit, we're gonna fire the weapon. 
and on leave the weapon's gonna shut off and what the emitter does too is it recycles a bunch of uh stuff and then it stops responding uh, bullets by itself so when we press it's gonna be on that's gonna be off Okay. I think this should be working now. We're gonna hide this inside here. So people can't see it. And this visibility off. No contact response, but contact response and no uh no collision sound. And now we're going to make another trigger. It's going to be this, any of these types. And then any of static objects or ground. is going to make an effect when the uh, thing collides i think i don't know how we're going to do this We'll figure it out. This is going to be a custom sound. Why did we do this? It's not even connected. So we got the trigger to work. Um, so we're about to do this trigger. So object two is ground or anything else. Not disabled on hand. Based on that, run. So I know what this. So if I. If you want this to trigger an event, this will work. But if you want to make bullet holes in the floor, that's going to take a lot of work. Unless... 
We could use this. Effect. There's effects now. So every time that she hit the ground, we should make an effect. Put that effect following. I don't know if this is going to actually work. We forgot to connect everything together. This is the gun, and then select the other one. Right. Select this. Now we're gonna say glue. Now we're gonna say glue again. Now we're gonna say readjust. Now we're going to go back to the first person. And then adjust that. The well, problem is we forgot one thing. Hopefully we could reselect this. Got to turn off that option. I'm very confused now. Uh oh. Not working. I don't know why.
Okay, now let me select this thing. Wow. Uh, Bad thing about trials. Fun glue, please. Let's see. What the fuck? So you work well. No problem. But when it comes to editing, you don't. I don't know what's really going on. So I'm just gonna. S it's on. Really annoying. Can we select this? We didn't. Wow. Well, that's bad. What's the... I highlighted it for a reason. What is going on? I really don't know what's going on with this game. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I didn't want to select the rock, did I? I select the rock anyway, right? That stuff. This is driving me insane. So, glue object. Grab another glue object. Select this. Glue it again. I didn't think it was that fucking hard. Apparently Charles doesn't understand. Okay, we have to re-select this part again, even though it's already highlighted. Doesn't make any sense at all. Well, it's, I'm just going to leave it on. On visible because it's just bad. Wow. What's, what's happening now? You're not going to go forward. Are you serious? 
Okay, well, the effect is garbage. So we're not going to use that effect. Can we just select this? We're going to take this. Unglue. Because it's the only way to select it. We're not going to select this fire. Because this fire is bad. It's horrible. So we're going to use a different object here. If we can get there. That would be really good. Select this again. It's a pain in the ass, we can't do it that way. Just want to go back. I just want to go to common. Is it really that difficult, game? Guessing we're going to select the entire world doing this. Are we going to... Why? We have to do it twice because the game doesn't understand. It's fucking stupid. Fucking work! You have to do this the second time, as always. The emitters are fucking stupid in this game. There's no problem like this in Charles Fusion. Finally, it fucking works. Did the exact same thing again. I don't know what the fuck the game is on, like I'm some severe fucking crack in some bullshit drugs. Well, that's the emitter for you. That's how bad it is. They're unable to select them. Can we select them? No, it's bad. This is the type of shit that I have to deal with. Well, 
course, it would be the other one. I won't be able. If that works. Oh, it doesn't. I know it works for Xbox One, so I don't know why it fucking doesn't work here. Can we fucking select? Like, how? why does it take a fucking bazillion fucking... Even if we select it anyway, it's still not gonna fucking work. Okay, finally it works. But it doesn't work again. There's a bit of a village visibility issue. I don't know why. But it works, so sometimes the emitters are fucking broken. And that's it for this tutorial. I don't want to do any more. So last tutorial was pretty good. I didn't kind of rage. But this editor is totally different from Trials Fusion Editor. In Trials Rising Editor, there's a few problems with certain emitters that don't work properly. And object glues that don't work. So, whatever. So this is all you get from me for FPS. So if you want to watch my other videos where I actually take the time to make something actually look good, like my other hundred maps that actually look really good. Because it takes weeks to do that stuff. So. I'm seeing a legend. 
and that's the end of my fps series look forward for other tutorials in the future but since swamp balls and the trials team is doing it anyway i'm gonna leave it up to them because i think they're gonna do a great job with those tutorial series and this is just for the fps so that's it later guys and gals and i'll see you people on some live streams of be making my maps i won't be talking in those videos i probably won't be reading chat in those videos those are just for extra learning so later sorry about the rage but this game has a lot of problems right now especially the saving issues and uh i just don't like when stuff don't work but in this tutorial the re final review of this tutorial is um we got a triple jump to work sound stop when we leave the floor and uh we got a functional gun working so if you can get the bullets to working uh, with a little bit more patience you can get it working but for me right now uh this is just a simplistic fps so for people to learn how to do fps so that's in so laters before we say laters i'm gonna save them I'll take a screenshot. So, laters.